I'm Robert Scoble, Startup Liaison Officer for Rackspace, and we're in the Rackspace Studio at TechCrunch Disrupt 2012. And um, you know, we all put our videos on YouTube because we don't care if there's ads on them or logos on them or anything like that. But most companies, when they do a studio like this, they're going to want to keep ads off their videos. They're going to want to control the look and feel and the uh, and the uh, the logos that are up on the videos. And Midcaster has a uh, way to do that. So we're going to find out about that right now. So who are you? Uh, hi, Robert. Thanks for having me. My name is Peter Mullen, and I work in business development for Vidcaster. Yeah. And what Vidcaster does is they're San Francisco-based San Francisco startups. They're originally part of the 500 startup program. But what they do is they provide an end-to-end -end in the cloud, uh, and Rackspace is one of their hosting partners, by the Thank way. You. But uh, what they do is it, it's an end-to-end -end video hosting, publishing, and marketing service. And what it does is it makes so much easier the ability to um, keep the videos in your website. You mentioned that you know a lot of companies, a lot of publishers go to YouTube, but uh, they don't have a lot of control, or they um, potentially lose a lot of their audience, you know, to cat videos and such. Yeah. But what uh, what Vidcaster allows you to do is take your video content and just upload it into Vidcaster. They take care of the encoding. It's a content management system. You can use it for various use cases, use cases for like e-learning and um, video marketing yep. uh, using their video sitemap, uh, which allows it to be searchable by all the search engine and crawlers, uh, which is kind of a new concept. Um, so it's being used by a lot of brands, like Zendesk is using it for their tutorials. Yep. Oric, the law firm, is using it to host their total access event program, so they archive that program. MIT is using it to publish some of their tech uh, materials, kind of like the Harvard Business Review. Um, and we're also, it's also being piloted uh, by a very large tech firm, but I can't name it just yet, yep. but uh, for some e-learning external. Uh, it's also got a paywall so that you can charge for premium content. Okay. Um, so it's really so it's a full service uh, video system for for business. Yeah, well. pretty much in the, in the cloud. So 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 yeah, full full service end to end. All you need to worry about is, is all is searchable content. Yeah, yes, it's it's all searchable, and okay. and that's the the thing that's unique about that is the video sitemap, and that's kind of a, a new concept which allows the content within the video with various tags to be um, you know searchable by all the search engines. And it's also got integrated analytics, and you can integrate it. Um, into your website via the website builder, so that you can um, bring the videos into your website with your own branding. So your they're own fully skins. embeddable, just like a YouTube video. Is. Exactly. You can even use YouTube as your player, and through uh, we use the Open API. So when you dynamically publish to YouTube, it can uh, be published to the website, or or vice versa. Um, it's all very easy. It's very reasonably priced, and it's a very how, powerful system. How do you price it? Let, let's say you're pricing for Rackspace with 4,000 employees. Does it is it by employee? Well, that, is it by usage? For the it? for the larger enterprises, it's it's kind of a custom pricing model. But you can start for as low as $39 a month for like a video professional, um, or it can be used. You know, it's designed to be price friendly for a lot of small businesses that previously kind of using video as a marketing technique in your website has been out of reach because it's too complex or because it's just too expensive to put together. Now a lot of these small small companies want to get into Facebook with video. Does, is the video embeddable into Facebook? Absolutely. That's one of the channels. So that's what the encoding takes care of. So it can reach all the endpoints, whether it's a tablet, whether your mobile smartphone device, even the new Apple iPhone just announced today, but also Facebook and YouTube, Daily Motion and all the other and do you uh, have good players. analytics to say where the, the viewers are coming from and what systems are coming from? Yeah, and... absolutely. You can track you know, where users are coming from, which videos they're viewing. Um, it's kind of some, some base analytics that, are, uh, that come with the system, but we're also working with some outside analytics providers as well to provide a much more rich analytic system so you can track the usage and um, you know, really do what you, do what you do with that. Can we do live streaming video like we're doing on Ustream right now? Um, now this is designed primarily for the archive videos. Uh, live is something I think is on the radar screen as well. Yeah, because that makes sense because companies need to do a financial report or something like that. That needs to be live then they want it recorded and they don't want to put it up on YouTube because they lose control of the branding and the yeah, advertising that gets put on absolutely. it. Absolutely, you get it. Yep. It's a, sometimes it takes a little bit to explain because we do so much, but the, the packaging of all of these elements 
in a cloud-based service is a pretty new concept, and we think that's the way the industry is going. Vidcasts are just kind of pioneering in that whole uh, in that whole space. Tell me about the company you're building. I, uh, how many people work there, and, and how is it funded? Uh, right now, there's about 10 people, and they're seed funded through 500 startups, and I think it's Quest Venture Partners um, to the tune of roughly 800k or so. And we're kind of sitting tight on that because what we want to do is is uh, let the model, you know. You know, basically build itself, yeah. uh, become cash flow positive, and then decide whether we want to go out for more funding or not. But we, we're hoping that the, the organic growth will take off as we get the word out with some of the brands that we've uh, gone to market with. Well, you know, cloud computing makes it affordable to start a company like this, and that'll just get cheaper and cheaper. I just saw a new um, storage device for cloud for data centers, pizza box, quarter petabyte of data, all in flash. $100,000. <laughs> so services like uh, a Rackspace Cloud can offer you guys cheaper storage and faster. So you yes, can do yes. As long as you keep making it cheaper, we'll keep selling more and driving it, more customers. It's the way it is, man. So. It never goes up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the tech, tech industry. It never goes up. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming on. All where right. do, well, where do I learn more me. about it? Uh, vidcaster.com, uh, but again, you can always go to some of our partners as well, like Airbnb, go to tv.airbnb.com to see it in action. And oh, very get cool. an idea of what we do. Very cool. So. Well, thanks for coming and spending some time at TechMunch and Stuff.